All right, time now for the mix. Can, we could not get enough of that epic fall shack on the air the other day. Epic's well, the right word. Yeah, he is uh, making sure if it happens again, it's not hurt too badly. Take a look at this. Oh, wait, we're right, going to see the fall again? Week, okay. Yes. This is the backstory. This happened while they were on the air. He's had a great sense of humor about it. He, you know, all these memes came out. He's going to give $500 to whoever had the best one, which I'm wondering when he's going to dole out that money. Check it out. Wrapped in bubble wrap. I can't imagine how much it took to cover <laughs> that big man in all that bubble wrap, but he's uh, having a really good sense of humor about it. And you have to. And that was, uh, that was such an authentic moment last week when he went down. I mean, that was real. And again, we were talking yes. about under this desk. We have so many wires underneath here. That can easily happen. We can Absolutely. relate to that. <laughs> and I don't think I would handle it uh, so gracefully and have such a great sense of humor <laughs> about it, but he's awesome. But good for Shaq for that. I got some great video to show you here of a couple that set a record. Um, most people, when they jump out of an airplane at 28,000 feet, they usually have a parachute attached and they just want to float back to the earth. Well, these folks, uh, well, they flew back to the earth. Uh, what we're talking about here, a couple from Australia, they had these wing suits on. They call themselves wing suit divers, these folks that do this. Oh, so, yes, God. that's what you have on. You spread it out and you essentially are flying and you're, well, that's more. Oh. Hey, how you doing, Shaq? Uh, <laughs> Shaq there too? <laughs> yeah, maybe. He would have hit the ground hard if he did this, but this couple, they did this over the Grand Canyon. The pictures are unbelievable. At 28,000 feet, they jumped out. You see the parachutes, the, how they eventually got back down to the ground. But they have, they spent 14 months, over a year, planning this. They have three world records in extreme sports, and they want to keep going. That didn't, they, they still have a rush, an adrenaline rush that they want to get. This wasn't That's enough. amazing. And that woman said the thing that, how she stays calm, breath control. I Breathing helps. Screaming. Breathing the helps. The entire time. That's what she meant, right? Yeah. All right, so this story's grossing you out, but this guy oh. is my hero. Was well, not grossing you out? No, I love this. Oh, I my love God. <laughs> Stop. Check this out. Stop. This is an 18-inch long burrito. This guy eats the entire thing in less than two minutes. Stop making that face. What, what other that face can you make? Come on. Okay. I mean, it's okay. It's a little gross. I'm sure he felt terrible afterwards, but burritos are delicious. <laughs> is that how you put it? He felt terrible afterwards. But look, he looks like he's enjoying it. But okay, we need to explain. Why did he do this again? This is some kind of competitive um, yeah, eating thing. Yeah, he's, um, you know, all these kind of different contests. A bunch of had McDonald's shakes. What is it? Four, in four minutes, he had seven of them. He's, he does this kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. Now, why did you say you're just a burrito kind of gal? You like burritos. I just like to eat. Okay, you just like to eat. All right, folks. We're going to end the mix right there before this gets any nastier. We're going to be right back. Stay with it. Really, we'd have to re-rack yes. that video. I don't want to see that again, yes. fellas. Come on, take that away.